to you Are we really young? The minx, look at you guys. Yeah. Look at us. <laughs> or don't. Oh, yeah. Or don't yeah. look at us. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Facelessness. Okay. Oh my God. Guys, so pumped to have you guys. First of all, Creatures of Culture. I mean, Chef's Kiss. Congratulations. Oh, Nikki, what an album. Yeah. I know. It. And I know you guys work really hard at it. And, you know, and uh, the, the result speaks for itself, guys. So, congratulations. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Nice and I was. And I was, I was thinking about you guys earlier because I was listening to the Flaming Lips and some other, like just like psychedelic rock bands and, you know, influences that you guys have, you know, from all over the place. And the Flaming Lips, you know, they started in 1980, but they really had their breakthrough in 93, you know, and I admire you guys so much and I celebrate you. Like, I'm here celebrating you guys because you guys are slowly but surely just like having that breakthrough uh, after many ups and many downs and, and, and a slog, right? And a slog. Um, COVID was a big slog. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, 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 it was not fun. But yeah, we're trying to keep it going and Yeah, I mean, you've been be doing steady. the minks yeah. technically <laughs> since 2015, right? That was the first minx show. I guess so, yeah. You keep track better than I do, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we've been doing it for a while, but I feel like I think we all, I don't know, we all just love music, so it's just fun to play, and I think that's kind of like the goal of it for us, so then it's just fun to play no matter what, you know, and, and then hopefully with that, we can just steadily build something yeah. and have something that's like solid underneath us as, as opposed to something that's like hot and cool for a second and then goes away, so right. I don't know, that's what I'm hoping the slow and steady wins the race. I've heard that. Yeah. Once or twice, yeah. No, right, totally. And it's happening. And let me ask you about like, you know, events like South by Southwest and you guys, for example, you know, there's so much going on and, and you guys are playing like a, like a big, very busy week and all this excitement. But first of all, do you enjoy stuff like this? Yeah, I think absolutely. Keep, staying busy yeah. feels good. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like it just feels good, especially when there's like, you know, we all got hip to what it's like to not play for a very long time. Yeah. Right. Right. To say yes to everything. You mean because of the pandemic? Or yeah, whatever? Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just, it feels good to just always be playing. So like, maybe it is a little hectic, but like, so is, you know, every other job. So is working. Yeah. So now working construction. It is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You get to sleep in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and when you like it, hopefully it makes it fun, you know? Yeah. It but, beats doing anything else. Right? That's true. And this week is cool. I mean, I think we, like, we've been seeing other bands and stuff that's always fun you know yeah. at a festival when you can actually like experience the festival a lot of times at festivals you can't do anything because you like have to be playing and that's all you that's can all think about right. so it's fun to come to a festival where you can just like pop by and see someone for a minute and yeah. Yeah. everything's kind of close and like we're it's nice busy but it's like we're playing four shows over 
a couple course days. of yeah. four, days, four or yeah. five days. So we've got plenty of free time to like. I love it. Too. Yeah. 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 If the week before off camera yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by the way, but, but Nikki, let me, let me ask you about, uh, or, or you guys as well, you know, chip in. You know, there's a little bit of like, um, I don't want to say con controversy, but there's a little bit of like, people are saying, okay, South by is great, but like the monetization part of it, mm -hmm. right? And people were talking about it all of last week and even in the podcast realm and, and sponsors and all that, it's like all this creativity, it's like audiences are growing, streams are growing and all that, but like the monetization, you have to get like super original and and I know that it's, it, it's hard as well for artists uh, in, in South by, right? A little yeah, I mean, I think in general, I think this is one of the hardest times to be a musician in particular, mm -hmm. probably an artist at all, but mm -hmm. like just with the internet and stuff, like, I mean, now everything can be streamed and people don't need to go out and buy a record anymore. They can just listen to it for free and then the artist gets like 0 0.02 cents of that, you know? I mean, yeah, we just don't get, we don't, you don't, yeah. you, artists don't get paid what they deserve at all anymore, I right. feel like. And so it, I do think that it is a little silly that South by doesn't really compensate better considering it's one of like the bigger festivals that it's such a big deal for bands to come and play and do this right. thing. And like so many people are like, you have to go and play South by for you to be a thing or whatever. But it's like, okay, well, if we have to do this or whatever, like it would be nice to be compensated or even be compensated for parking. Like, you know, we're paying $30 to park and then you know, then you go and play a show and you don't get paid and like you don't even really sell merch a ton at South By because everyone's like moving and fat. Right. You can't really, there's no place to there's set no it up and you're, so it is kind of a crapshoot with money a little bit, yeah. which uh, as a musician, I don't love. Um, I don't know who to talk to about it to change it, but I do like that it's being talked about now. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like there's such an illusion to music especially but any creative thing people kind of think oh it's just this thing you do and then it's fine and like it doesn't really matter if you get paid for it or whatever you know it's like a hobby or something mm -hmm. and and um i do like that things have been exposed a little more i feel like even with like the whole rise of like musicians talking about touring costs last year i feel yeah. like that really came yeah. out and like so many of these things that most people just don't even don't know really about right don't realize even like the Ticketmaster thing oh they're taking so much money so many people didn't know you know people are like why are musicians charging this much and it's like well the musician's not charging this much it's right. the Ticketmaster and like so much of that stuff that like just is kind of under the radar and the big guys I feel like try to keep under wraps but I'm happy that it's being talked about because I do think we all deserve to be compensated yeah. for for, stuff. for the the time we spend, you know, it's really playing music is like blood, sweat, and tears. Yep. You know, <laughs> like, like you, you are like working yourself to the bone for it. Yeah. You know, it's really it's strenuous. It. You know, and and so it is nice to get fairly compensated sometimes. <laughs> Dylan, let me ask you about um, just the brotherhood, the family that you guys have. Sure. Just uh, it, you guys are finishing each other's sentences, you know, the, the physical language. Uh, you guys are like a unit. Uh, you guys are like a family, but, and, and uh, you know, I see bands all the time, but there's something special here. Uh, am I right or am I wrong? It seems like there is something totally like wrong. deep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Yeah. To my point. Yeah. Um, you guys really do like love each other, right? Yeah. We yeah, definitely do. do. And, you know, we, we all have played with so many other artists and, and done so many different projects and um, you know it, it's really really rare to find a, a group of people that not just has the same love for music and playing music but just the same you know sort of love for and, and respect for you know I hate to sound so broad but really just like humanity like we all really love and respect like each other as people let alone as, as musicians and I've played with so many different bands and I've never ever been in a situation like this where I feel so basically taken care of as as a, a human yeah. a musician yeah. a friend like it's um it's it's the best vibe I guess is the only word that, that I've sure. ever been a part of like a, we all really understand each other we all really respect each other and um and I think you know that certainly comes through like everyone who ever sees us play talks about you know how much fun it looks like we're having and 
yeah, it's it's yeah, that means a lot. It's mm-hmm. great music, and and but it's it's fun music to play, but it's also just fun playing with this group of people. It's you know, and I've I've played in bands. I'm sure we all have where there are people on the stage that you don't want to be around. And, yeah. and that's a really difficult position to find yourself in. And, you know, you're not going to love every single person in your life, you know, 100% of the time. Um, you know, it's not about that necessarily, but, like, at the end of the day, the deep amount of respect and love that we have for everything here that we all have together is... Um, it's just... It's really beautiful and... Uh, I, I feel oh. so grateful to be part of it. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me. I think so. Don't touch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, well said. And uh, it, it comes, comes through. through. It's amazing how it comes through. Uh, it doesn't matter how good a song is or whatever. Like when that's that feel, the audience yeah. can feel it. I'm sure you guys would attest to that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure, you can't fake that stuff. That's funny because you know? this this group of people, um, you know, Ben and I have both been on full time for. Over over three years now, and then and then Henry come, coming up on three years, I think oh, over two okay. years. And, yeah, we've um, been doing it for a while. I'll learn my stripes. Um, yeah, <laughs> I know you won't have to bring that up one of these days. Well, I don't know why you still do. Well, but. the reason I bring that up is because in the grand scheme of things, like that's not a, a super long time, but yeah. in yeah. in that period of time, like we've we've been through a lot together. We've been through some highs. We've been through some lows, and like we have just always maintained a level of communication and, and respect again that I just don't think exists with a lot of people because it, it is it, it's equally a cutthroat industry and a very emotional industry I mean we're in the business of evoking emotion you mm-hmm. know I don't really understand people who think about and play music so like just methodically you know like you have to care about it like in, in my opinion and yeah. um, and we all really really care about it and it, it's really difficult to, to navigate, you know, both the business aspect of it and the emotional aspect of it. Um, but I'm really both proud of everything that we've been able to accomplish together and kind of in awe of it in, in some ways because, again, I've been in situations where uh, I think we've been through things where in situations I've seen people not be able to work through a lot less. Sure. Um, mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really a, a beautiful Beautiful also community. like a total team like we have, we do everything ourselves yeah. really yeah. you know what I mean so it's you know it's great to like feel like we all have each other's back yeah, yeah. Well, let me ask you, to you guys about this uh, Nikki you're not here for this so, so let's start with, you know Ben Henry yeah. you should with the dudes with, with the dudes around yeah, um, dudes. Dudes. like because you guys are part of a band um, I mean incredible band but I feel like you guys um, have a, as a front woman a force of nature, like I, I believe that. I, I feel like you know, like Joan Jett, whatever you want to call it, like a female rock and roll force of nature, dude. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about like, y- you know, like when you go home at night to your families or like, y- y- and you think, man, I'm, I'm, I work with Nikki Barber, like what a creative, <laughs> what a creative. No, I know. What I, no, no, yeah. Nikki Barber's not here. Don't worry, she will never I find this. You, whenever I go home and tell my wife yeah. I you get know? to work with Nikki Barber, she hates me. I don't, you know what? It's just oh, like, I, I just think she's such an important part of the, of the Nashville creative scene. I happen to think that personally, you know? Whenever I go home to the house that I live in with Nikki Barber, <laughs> yeah. she also hates it. Yeah, yeah. she can't stomach the praise that I give her. Yeah. Straight yeah. to her face. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but no, I mean, she's an awesome person. Yeah. She's, oh, she's, she's the boss. She's, she, applesauce? Oh, she's the applesauce. applesauce. <laughs> she holds it all together. And yeah. such oh. a genuinely kind and talented and awesome person. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, there's a million <laughs> things we could all say. Uh, yeah, I, just, yeah. I know that I just made that joke. It's, it's funny, though, because um, I've been in Nashville for six and a half years now, and I'm really lucky to have so many friends there, and um, my my wife has actually mentioned multiple times, um, you know, like when I first moved here and she first kind of got to know, you know, who my my friends and connections were. Like she had always kind of said from the beginning, like it seems like Nikki works really really hard, mm. you know, which which isn't a slight against. I mean, we have so many friends who work 
unbelievably hard and they've been rewarded for that as they should be yeah. um but you know when I i'm definitely a hustler <laughs> <laughs> i was like when i first I started playing with nikki you know she was really getting the minx off the ground and you know she she had her own business she still has her own right. business and right. and just Nikki stitch right yeah Shut yeah. up. and yeah just <laughs> the, the yeah. hustle <laughs> Has, I'll stuff. send you the logo. Yeah. You can just put it on it. Everyone talks about you know how much hard work you have to put in, and it's true. And and Nikki, I think, is just the ultimate example of, of how people need to be doing it. I agree. Um, and and it is great. Like whenever I tell people that I play with the Minx, I would say thirty percent of the time I get oh you know, oh, that's great. Yeah, I've, I've heard you guys, I really like you guys. And 70% of the time it's, oh, I love Nikki. Mm-hmm. Aww. Yeah, which, that is true. <laughs> that's that's good, sweet. Yeah. And yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm a fan <laughs> too. So, you know, but you know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Guys, well, you guys have been so good with your time. Uh, let me leave you with this. Um, mm. I feel like, you know, Nashville, obviously, historically country music, Americana is, you know, like second, you know, alt pop scene growing. And the rock and roll scene, it's you know it's there it's stable it's like it, it, it it's growing but it, it plateaus a little bit mm-hmm. and the minks are like you guys are like at the forefront of it oh thanks do you, do are you, we yeah <laughs> you are, you are, you are, yeah. Um, is there any you know like, like do you guys ever think like oh man like we would be a great fit in la you know like uh, <clears throat> you know what i mean because that would be like a bread and butter or are you uh-huh. happy because in in nashville I, I, selfishly, we need you guys <laughs> because there's not many mix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you guys ever like think about stuff like this? I mean, I, mean, I, I think it would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do really want to go overseas. Italy that's, would be fantastic. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of like that would be a I've, good I next step. I don't know if step, I've ever thought about our music working better, quote unquote. No, anyway. or like our, maybe like our living somewhere or something. I've never really. Yeah, oh, well, good. I don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I think about living somewhere else all the time, but I do love Nashville. If you're like, watching it's a good this, community. Jamie is holding us hostage. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nashville does kind of like cater to like our you know own sensibilities and personalities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. And, like, I think just as individuals, we all like living there for our Absolutely. particular reasons. Mm-hmm. But I think the music definitely like is more supported in a city like Nashville than it would in like Brooklyn or. In, like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think sure. we're an LA band. Yeah, good. Yeah. I'm not rich enough to be. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much, Nikki. April April 29th, Basement East. Yes. There's a party going on for you. It's your birthday and album party. Oh, yeah. That's yep. going to be the place Double to be. Party. But congratulations um, on the album and everything, guys. Thank you so much for your time.